what is going on guys nathan here welcome back to the channel in today's video we are unboxing um something a little bit older once again um i've been really getting back into ps3 collecting so i got disney infinity 2.0 for ps3 so the reason why i specifically got the ps3 version of this and not ps4 is because um i actually have a lot of these individually i just never bought the actual set itself um and I was just browsing Amazon because I had some Amazon gift card points left and I just wanted to spend them. And this is only $7.99 um, with shipping. So I went ahead and got it. So it is listed as new, but um, as you guys will see, it is sliced. So I hope it's new. It's just like, I hope it's just sliced and that's pretty much it. But uh, here's a look around the box. You know, back during the phase of like the Toys to Life sort of thing. We got, um, let's see, we got Stitch. We got uh, Merida. I think that's what her name was, Merida. Uh, we got the little chips. We got the... The base like i said I, I pretty much have all these pieces individually i have quite a few disney pieces i do want to collect all the disney pieces i'm a huge disney fan um maleficent would be a cool piece my favorite disney villain um and yeah stuff like that so we got the up house i don't know where that rocket ship's from um but yeah so let's get into it since it's already sliced open um let's open it up and see what's inside so this little recording setup is kind of janky, so I do apologize for that. Um, the camera might be shaking a little bit, but yeah, we got the box right there. And yeah, so it does look like it's sealed. Um, it looks like they just probably sliced the box and that, that's probably it. So uh, sealed version of Disney Infinity. Unfortunately, it doesn't really have any cover art um, or anything like that, but it is sealed. We'll set that aside. We'll look at that in a bit. Ooh, that's really getting in the way, isn't it? So we got a poster. A big old poster. So I usually don't open up the posters, but I'm going to open it up just to show you guys. Um, so it's pretty much like a collector's poster, like to see... Ooh, oh, 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 that's not good. But yeah, to see like what you need to collect. Uh, we got like Guardians of the Galaxy. I think I got Black Widow. Um, let's see. I want Spider-Man. That's a pretty cool one. On this side, I got Donald Duck. Well, now I have Mer Merida and Stitch. And I don't have any of the other ones. I do have some of the Frozen ones. Uh, and on the back... Oh, that's pretty cool. On the back is a full poster. We got the the guys from... I forgot what that movie is. I'm sorry. Big Hero 6, Aladdin, uh, Brave, Tinkerbell, Maleficent, and Stitch. Yeah, it's, it's really hard getting this big old thing in on the camera frame. But... Uh, come on, close, close, close. Okay, yeah, this is being a pain in the butt. I'll set that aside and I'll fold that up a little bit later. Oh, there we go. Got it. So we got the poster. We got the base. Uh, let's take let's take these out first. Okay, Merida. Um, I always felt these Disney figures were really trying to compete with. Um, well, obviously, all the Toys to Life things were trying to compete with um, the Amiibos. But honestly, out of all of them. Amiibos and Disney Infinity felt the highest quality. Um, as far as like the Skylander stuff, it didn't feel high quality at all. But look at that! Look at the detail, the hair detail. It feels good. Like it, like it feels nice. Like the material. Uh, we got Disney Infinity 2.0. I'm not a huge fan of like the fact that like the transition between 2.0, 3.0, like 1.0. I don't know what they changed, but they could have handled that marketing a little bit better. I feel like. Um, because people were confused. I know for a fact I was confused um, with the differences, and I still am a little confused, but hopefully I'll figure it out as we play this. So we got Stitch, once again, super high quality. Look at the, the detail in his teeth. See that? All matte finish. See, there's no bleed over. It's really precise. That's that's what I like about it. So um, textured finish right there. Disney 2.0. And yeah, his little tail. So that... And lastly, we have the base. If it'll come out. Alright, maybe we gotta take it out the box. Oh man, that was a pain. So we got the base. Right there. Set that aside. And then we have the little chips. get this out the way all right so i'm guessing these i really don't know the difference between these like what the heck do these do that those don't 
Um, obviously these fit into right there. I'm guessing they're like when you don't want to put the figure in. I, I have no clue. Because that, that just seems kind of counterintuitive. Like you have the figures. I would assume these have NFC readers or NFC cards inside. If it doesn't, then in that case, I guess that makes sense. Like you have two figures sitting right there. No? Yeah, I have no clue. If you guys know what the difference between these two are, uh, let me know, because I have no clue. But that is a quick look at what comes in the Disney Infinity 2.0 um, starter box, starter toy box. So if you guys have the PS4 version, the 360 version, the Xbox One version, it's pretty much the same thing. The only difference is the console version. So I know there was a 3.0 version. They had a bunch of these um, starter packs. They had like a Frozen one, I think. They had a Star Wars one. Um, Incredibles one, but yeah, you, obviously you could buy the toys individually, but uh, I'm still collecting them. Once again, I don't really care for Skylanders, and Amiibos are way too expensive, so I do want to get every one of these figures, so um, hopefully I'll do like an update video of what I have so far. I got some of the Incredibles ones, and yeah, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see me do a Let's Play um, of Disney Infinity 2.0 here on the channel, let me know, but anyways, take care, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.